Okay. So, I will write here now next point here I will write one more point magnitude. Okay. Magnitude what happened to me magnitude. magnitude of ok. So, magnitude that means what is the meaning of magnitude children means how strong this force is ok. The gravitational force how strong it is it depends upon two things mass of the object and distance between the two object ok. Now, what should be the next point fourth point ok. Just now we have discussed that if the mass of the object is more ok if the ok mass of the object is more mass of the object is more or a uh, or an object is heavier then it will exert more force ok. So, magnitude of gravitational force will depends upon what two things mass of the substance or mass of the object and their distance ok. So, it depends upon the mass and it depends upon the distance of the object. Now, so due to gravitational force what is happening every I have written this force attraction between any two materials ok. Every object has what what should I write children that every object in the universe attract or show attraction or you know every object exerts a force on the other object. in the universe ok. That means, each and every object is exerting force on other substance ok now means every object is showing what force or exerting force on the other substance. But then what will happen what is the case the mass that is the main reason if mass is more if the substance is heavier then only the force can come into existence or the force will not come into existence and it will just get cancel out. So, again I will repeat. So, what will happen if the mass is more if the substance is heavier then only the substance will be able to exert force will be able to pull the substance towards itself will be able to show gravity or else then the uh, this there will be no use or like there will be no effect of the what this force ok. So, we will talk about few examples over here the sun due to its gravity. keeps the planets moving around it in the fixed path ok in the fixed path and the moon moves around 
the earth okay due to what again now earth's gravitational force okay now now what is the next point children now you know gravity the gravitational pull of the substance okay it varies on the surface of the earth because of the distance from the center of the earth are you getting my point now see this is the earth there is no place there this is a center so every substance okay if it is here if it is here if it is here so it will vary in its what the the you know the vary in weight so you know suppose this is the substance is at the anywhere sometime here sometime here sometime here but then we have like you know if the substance it depends upon the distance from the center and that is the reason the uh, you know the um, uh, what to say the uh, the weight okay the weight of the substance it varies on the surface of the earth why does it varies because it the distance the center of the earth okay the distance between the center of the earth and the and the substances it varies okay now if we talk about gravity if we go in the space there the substance won't have any weight hai na see we are talking about gravity we are talking about gravitational force so substance gravitational force if we have to measure so how we will how will you measure now suppose when you have to bring milk so what do you say 1 kilo milk or 1 dozen milk no what do you say 1 liter 1 liter of petrol 1 liter of uh, milk isn't it so 1 um, kg of wheat isn't it so it you know it is what like some unit has to be there to measure this also isn't it so when i talk about the units so what is the like how it can be measured how the force can be measured in what in newtons isn't it so it can be measured unit is what children i'll rub rather and then i will write so i'll just explain uh, two three things so unit is what newton so when the force has to be expressed so units has to be used so unit is what Uh, Newton. Okay, now a substance I said will vary in its weight on the different surface of the earth. On the different different places, the weight of that that substance only will change. Okay, and if that substance is taken on the moon, so it will be one what? It will be you know it will again get reduced. If it is on in the space, then it will become weightless. Yes. if a substance is taken on in the space it will become weightless no weight and when the substance is taken on the moon then what will happen it will become 1/6 children if, that means what is my weight if i go to moon so my weight divided by 6 that will be my weight in, at the moon your weight divided by what 6 okay so that will be your weight on the surface of the moon so i discussed two three points over here children first of all the weight of the substance will vary on the surface of the earth because it depends upon the distance from the center of the earth now then second thing which i told is then we need to measure uh, force isn't it so force can be measured in newton okay newton is a unit now the third thing which i told that when i am saying that the weight of the substance varies okay but if i take the same substance in the space then it will be what that substance will be of like it will be weightless it won't be having any kind of weight okay then if the same substance is taken to the moon to the surface of the moon then it will be 1/6 of the weight of on the Uh, surface of the moon which is there on the surface of the earth that means what children if your weight is 40 kg uh, 60 kg and if you go to moon then your weight will become what okay so we'll write the next point again now i don't remember the point number 
but we will continue with what we have discussed but not return over there ok. So, what I will write the gravity ok the gravity of moon will be one sixth of that of the earth ok. That means, if any substance is 60 Newton on the surface of the earth and then it will be what on the surface of the moon? it will be 10 Newton on moon and uh, if 60 Newtons on the surface of the earth. So, this is very important point that the gravity of moon will be 1 6 that of the gravity on the surface of the earth. That means, if a substance weighs 60, uh, uh, 60 Newton then on the moon if I have to take it out it will be what 10 Newton ok. The next point was what children that in the space in the space the weight of the substance will be 0 is not it. The weight of the substance in the space will be 0 ok. So, the gravity of moon will be 1 sixth of that of the earth that means what it has to be divided by what 6 ok 1 6 part. Then in the space the weight of the substance will be 0 that means, whatever weight a substance is having over here if it is taken in the space it will just keep on flying as there is no gravity and the substance will have 0 what weight. So, now what can be the importance of gravity ok importance is what? This is our next point ok in continuation only children. So, what is the importance of gravity you think like now uh, we have discussed also. So, due to gravity what can we do? Due to gravity I can stand, due to gravity you can stand, due to gravity we can walk, we can see the sub substances on the surface of the earth. So, we can walk. stand is not it and the substances remains on its place. Okay. Now, what can be the next point children that when I you know throw we have discussed this we have to write now then if the gravity pulls ok due to gravity due to earth's gravity if the substance comes down on the surface of the earth then why the substance goes up ok. So, how can we write this when the force applied by us exceeds ok or is higher or more also you can write ok or higher is higher or more write more also simpler thing. is more 
then the a gravitational force then the substance goes up isn't it so what i have written when the force applied by us exceeds or is more then the gravitational force then the substance goes up and why does it comes again children because at one point after reaching at one point again the gravitational force becomes more isn't it so after reaching at one point the gravitational force again exceeds again become higher than the muscular force and so the substance again is pulled down towards the surface of the earth okay so now how does the gravitational force is measured children spring balance okay if you have seen spring balance in the laboratory spring balance okay spring balance is used to measure gravity okay now uh, what is spring balance children it has got see like this one this thing it has got a scale like scale it has got and again it has got a spring and one hook is there to this hook the substance are hanged okay when substance are hanged to this the spring pulls you know spring gets pulled up to wherever point the scale goes up okay the scale goes up and then it the reading can be noted that means just imagine a simple spring okay if you take a simplest spring remove the spring from the pen and just have a look and this uh, you know stretch it or hang something at the corner so what you will find that the turns of the spring will get unrolled and it will be stretched in the same way here also the spring gets stretched and the uh, reading can be noted okay so the spring balance is a device which is used to note the uh, the like how much of force is exerted okay so uh, now what else can we describe over here that one uh, actually this gravity is so important just imagine the surface of earth without gravity we cannot grow crops we cannot do anything okay so this uh, gravitational force is very very important it is exerted by the surface of the earth when i talk about the gravity of earth okay or is every material every object in the universe is exerting force on the other object but then why it is not able to pull the other object children because it depends the magnitude okay the magnitude of gravitational force depends upon the mass of the object obviously isn't it so it depends upon the mass of the object and it also depends upon the distance between the object isn't it so uh, when the mass is less so what will happen it won't be able to create much force to um, pull the things towards it as i gave you the example of the earth and the apple that why apple is not able to pull earth towards itself because the mass of the apple is quite negligible like like uh, more than negligible when i talk about in comparison to the earth and so apple cannot pull the uh, the earth or rather it comes down on the surface of the earth okay now now we'll discuss about the next topic in the same chapter okay see before this first of all we have discussed about what like uh, um, what is force isn't it then types of force non contact forces contact forces okay then we have discussed the examples of both the forces okay and we have studied in pretty detail what was required for this chapter now we'll talk about the pressure so children what is pressure okay so 
first of all we will talk about certain examples of pressure. See uh, if I have to pin up a board ok, uh, we all have soft boards in the classrooms ok and we have uh, to put anything any paper on the soft board and with the help of what we do we use push pins is not it, we use push pins and we push the pin into the boards. So, what how this push pin is it is very thin from the bottom and it is like this is not it. So, it is very very pointed at the bottom, why this is so pointed at the bottom children, why it is so pointed at the bottom ok. Then if we have to cut an apple ok, if we have to cut an apple we use knife ok. So, one side of the knife is quite blunt is not it, but the side from we have to cut is quite sharp is quite sharp is not it, it is sharp. So, why this pointed side we use for cutting apple, why do not we just use the blunt side of the knife and we cut the apple and why do not we do it ulta like you know to put this side into the board and to press from this side, is it possible, can we do it and if not then why not ok. So, see children first of all when we talk about the pins ok this part is very what it is very uh, area if we talk about this area is very less is not it. So, when area always remember in this topic always one thing children that if area is less ok area is I will write it properly if area is less then what will happen if area is less then pressure will be more ok pressure will be more ok this is first if area is less then pressure will be more. Now see in our daily life we need different kind of substances ok we have different kind of situations first situation when we need to have more pressure ok like when we have to put the push pin we have to push the pins we have to attach the push pins into the boards or then uh, we have to cut the apple with the help of a knife or we have to use you know anything not only apple like it is not like apple is my favorite food and I want to cut the apple uh, like you know you can cut uh, you can take an example of anything if you want to cut potato most welcome cut potato ok. But have you ever tried to cut the potato with the blunt side? No, we, we do not do it generally why because even if we do it, it would not be easier for us to cut in that way is not it, but why does it happens? Children see when the area is less ok, when the area is less pressure is more, hmm? here we need more pressure, here we need more pressure so that we can push the push pins into the board, we need more pressure so that we can cut the apple ok. For cutting of an apple we obviously need to have we need to apply more pressure. So, this is a one example children where we need to reduce the pressure or increase the pressure what we need to increase the pressure is not it. Please try to understand whenever we need to increase the pressure ok whenever we need to increase the pressure then what has to be done we have to keep the area very very small we have to keep the area very very small because if, if area is small then pressure will be more ok. But then uh, what can be the second situation if is there any situation when we need more 
area okay and we need to have you know like the pressure should be less is it there just think about your school bags children your school bags has you know uh, the straps which we used to hang it is like this or these belts are like this i am talking about your school bags your school bags has got bands bands or straps which you you know used to hang it from the uh, on the back side so these uh, bands are like this this thin or it is broader okay just go and see her check your school bags and then come back fast okay okay seen so your school bags are like this why it is not just like this one single rope okay don't tell me don't give me the excuse that if it is so thin then it won't be so strong no it will be strong we have taken very strong thread we have given you the option of very strong but then why it is so children please pay attention when the area is less when the area is less area less okay area less then pressure more okay area less means pressure what more okay so here what is the belt kind it is a area is here what here area is more and so pressure will be less i have made it very messy it, it has become very messy so i have rubbed this so in see this case where we have used this soft board okay so area is what children less so now we want here less area so that the pressure area is less and pressure is what children more isn't it this is one condition when we want the pressure to be high this is one condition where we need more pressure we want the pins to go inside we want the apple to be cut down and so what is there the we have taken the pins with the pointed ends and we have taken the knife which is very very sharp okay now this is the first case now i'm talking about second case your school bells isn't it your school bells are like this and not like this okay so will again the same thing in the whole chapter you please remember the same thing when you study about the pressure that when area is less okay so pressure will be what more here area is more so pressure will be less so what do you want when you uh, when you hang your school bags do you want to have more pressure do you, you do you want to feel more burdensome or you want to be very relaxed so obviously if you put your school bags uh, school bands or your school bags has this kind of uh, straps then what will happen children you will get a mark on your shoulder okay you will get uh, it will totally go inside you know it will go inside your body not inside means it will be penetrating in your body children but you know you will have mark and after some time it will burn like anything okay your shoulders will pain your hands will pain okay it will become totally red why children because pressure is what it here pressure will be more why pressure will be more children because area is very very less if area is less and then what will happen the pressure will increase and so your school bags are not like this because no one want the children to bear uh, the you know the pressure on their shoulders okay you just relax so here what is the thing children uh, like you know it it is for your uh, like it should be like you should feel better when you hang your bags isn't it so here what is there the straps are broad straps are broad so the pressure gets spread actually you know what happened see here the pressure is like spreading only here on this band here it gets longer area and so pressure gets spread okay the pressure gets spread out simple children 
if I have got one uh, silk, but I cannot come and give you, so you think about yourself itself. Uh, you have got one big chocolate, you and you, uh, your only one friend is there. So it will be what like more area, more chocolate and less one. So you can eat nicely. But when you have more numbers, okay. So what will happen? You will have to divide the chocolate. So similarly, when area is more, so pressure will get divided. Pressure will be pressure will be divided, and so it won't be exerting totally here or here. It will be spread evenly uh, on the whole surface of the strips, isn't it? And that is the reason that school bags has got a broader straps and not the uh, very thin all the or the very like you know like just a single rope like structure. Why? Because it is going to affect your body like anything you won't be able to you know run even after sometimes if you keep on using these kinds of bag you won't be able to uh, stand properly because it is going to give you a bad pain okay so that is the reason please pay attention here that two things uh, these are in our hands to increase the pressure or to reduce the pressure. But there are both the situations. What are the situations? Like sometimes we need to increase the pressure. We need to make the marks. We need to make to we need to cut the things. Okay. And so uh, here when we talk about the pins, the pins has got very small area. Why the pins has got so small area? So that the the pin can go inside okay the area is less and so what the pressure is very high and here children what is happening when the area is more so pressure is getting reduced so please try to understand uh, understand me children uh, it's understand okay uh, so please try to understand like uh, there can be two situations first of all when one there we want more area okay because we want to distribute the weight we want to distribute the pressure okay please keep this thing in mind and sometimes we need lesser area because we don't want the pressure to be distributed we want lesser area so that the force the pressure can exert on that particular point okay so these two are very important two conditions now we'll be quoting different different examples for this two okay now before this just so now we'll be quoting different examples over here but before quoting examples now i'm saying again again pressure pressure so how can we define pressure what is pressure so first of all, I'll write the definition of pressure. Pressure is what? Okay, it is. It is force. Force applied per unit area. Okay, how can we define pressure children? Pressure is force applied per unit area. Okay, and if I want to write the formula for pressure, so how can I write? Pressure is equal to force upon area. Okay. Pressure is equal to force upon area. Means it is force applied per unit area. Okay. Now if I want to write over here. So P is equal to force. Force. Just now we have studied the unit of force. What is the unit of force children? It is Newton. Okay. It is Newton. And area length into breadth that means it is meter square ok. So, even I can write Newton n over here but just you know P is equal to n upon meter square. Now, if I want this one to bring it up. So, how can we do it? 
P is equal to m n m minus 2 this because it is going up ok. So, P is equal to n m square minus now how can what is this it is known as ok. Now, I want to give some name to this. Now, children this unit ok this unit is called as Pascal ok. This unit is called as Pascal. So, what is Pascal just So, just I will have to rub this one only. So, how I can write now 1 Pascal ok. This unit is known as this one ok. This unit is known as what Pascal. So, 1 Pascal is equal to n m n m square and I can write over here 1. So, 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton meter square ok. So, this is what known as Pascal. So, first of all children what is pressure? How can we define pressure? It is the force applied per unit area. What it is? It is the force applied per unit area. So, how we can define? See force, force applied per unit area and so I have written unit area over here. Now, uh, pressure is equal to what? Now, force. See nothing we have to put we have to write the units of force. So, what is the unit of force? The unit of force is what just now we have studied it is Newton ok and area it is what it is meter square ok. So, this one is our SI unit ok this one is our SI unit. Now, if I talk about our CGS unit ok. So, what is CGS unit? It is dyne centimeter square. What is the uh, this unit? What is unit of pressure in uh, CGS system? It is dyne centimeter square. I will just make it more clearer it is centimeter square ok. And then again if I have to you know I have to increase the unit if I have to go for the higher unit then even I can write a higher unit is what a higher unit is kilo Pascal. Ok, a higher unit is what? Kilo Pascal. Then what 1 kilo Pascal is equal to? Ok, so how can I write here? 1 kilo Pascal, I will have to rub this. 1 kilo Pascal is equal to 1000 Pascal. Oh, so big. Ok, so it will be like this. Now, we will just again talk about the pressure. Now, see we are talking about here what actually pressure only ok. Now, I discussed we have discussed that there can be two conditions children first of all first condition when we we need ok. It is up to us how we need and where and where which kind of pressure do we need. First situation is what children that we need more pressure ok. We need more pressure and whenever this kind this kind of condition is there that we need more pressure. So, what we do we reduce the area we reduce the area and so pressure get increased because the whole pressure is coming in this part only. Now, the second part is that when we have to reduce the pressure. So, what we will do we will spread the area we will spread the pressure and for spreading the pressure we need more area 
and so we will increase the area and so that the pressure will be decreased okay so these are the two situations now children how can we define pressure it is the force applied per unit area what it is it is a force applied per unit area now if i talk about si unit if i talk about si unit of pressure then what can we say pressure is equal to force upon area now force the unit of force in si system like just now we discussed it's newton so i have written there p is equal to what newton and area meter square now this part children this part is known as what pascal so 1 pascal is equal to what this 1 so 1 newton meter square has gone up and so that 2 has become minus 2 okay now this is about si unit in si unit pressure uh, how can we what is the formula force upon area force can be written as newton meet an area can be written as meter square then newton upon meter square is equal to 1 pascal and so 1 pascal is equal to 1 newton meter minus 2 upper yes then if i want to talk about if i want to uh, write the cgs unit of the pressure so what we will write it is dyn centimeter square what it is it is dyn centimeter per square now if i want to you know write more higher unit if i go for the next unit then what it can be a higher unit is kilo pascal okay so higher unit is what kilo pascal and how it can be 1 kilo pascal okay 1 kilo pascal is equal to 1000 pascal so this is how the units are you know the smallest one then the bigger one and then the biggest one so this is how the unit is like we can you we have different units the smaller and then in this way okay now children now uh, i will talk about the more examples where we can increase the pressure and where can we decrease the pressure now if we talk about now i'm specially talking to the girls okay now the girls who wear very high heels pencil heels how many of you like to wear pencil heels okay if you like to wear the pencil heels what will happen you are you know your body if you do it daily once a while it's okay children okay but you wear your pencil heels daily it's going to give you a bad pain in your legs even in your backbone okay why it is so children because when i talk about the pencil heel so it will be what it will be like this isn't it it will be so sharp this so what will happen you know when all the pressure of your body okay where it is coming on this tip on this part okay on this part it is coming so your whole body part when it is coming on this small particular tip so it becomes very difficult to balance that is the another thing but in long run if you very often wear your pencil heels then what will happen children your body will be in problem and rather than wearing pencil heels if you wear a broader heels okay if you wear the broad hills or the platform sort of a hill okay then what will happen children the 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 base is broad okay the base is broad so what is happening now the pressure of your body is getting distributed okay properly in the larger area okay when the pressure is getting distributed in the larger area then what will happen your body your not body its body so your body will not be suffering from you know different kinds of pains or different diseases but rather it will be like you will be in ease your body will be in ease your body structure will be uh, you know uh, like it won't be spoiled so avoid wearing pencil heels 
uh, every like no very often once a while it's okay because again it is the same thing that when you wear pencil heels that part where the whole body weight is uh, concentrating the whole part the the whole body weight is coming on is very small is very small when you wear pencil heels and that uh, body weight is being balanced on that small point then what will happen you won't be able to uh, you know uh, keep your body balance and in longer run it will be what it will be creating problems because the whole body weight is coming on this small point rather when we talk about the broader hills it gets spreaded okay now the weight gets spreaded and it is not the case that it will be pointed on very small area it is getting spread so this is this lies where here that we want to spread the pressure similarly you, you know when i'm talking about your leg uh, your pen, uh, your pencil hills so it's very important that we need to talk about the animals legs also isn't it see when we talk about the desert animals say especially camels so they run in the sand and they run very fast children can you wear pencil heels and run in the sand just imagine just imagine for 2 seconds can you do so uh, and if you do so what will happen your pencil heel will go inside the sand and you will stuck over there itself you won't be able to move why children because when you wear pencil heels again the whole pressure is coming here okay and sand it it will penetrate it will work like a knife where is my knife knife we have rubbed okay or the spin push pins so your sandals are going to work like the push pins and it will go into the sand and you won't be able to move faster and so if it is so like it if it is so then what about the camel's leg legs so if the camel's legs uh, if you have seen if you have observed you will find that the legs of the camels are again broader okay the legs of the camels are broader so that the camel can walk faster okay it doesn't get penetrated inside the sand okay and if we if we just uh, uh, you know imagine of running with the pencils pencil hills in the sand we won't be able to do it it won't be you know we won't be able like it's not possible why because again the area is lesser and it will go inside the sand okay so we'll be discussing now more about the um, this examples now because now i think because the situation is clear okay you know now what is pressure it is force applied per unit area now you know the si unit that it is what it is force upon area newton meter square now you know the cgs unit what is that it is dyne centimeter square you know what is pascal pascal is equal to newton meter square upar minus 2 you know what is kilopascal 1 kilopascal is equal to 1000 pascals okay so now you know this thing and you also have understood the different two situations isn't it you have understood different two situations where the where we need to keep area more okay and where do we need to keep lesser area okay where do we need to have sharp things and where do we need to have broader things uh, okay blunt things so we'll just have a look on all the examples of the like related to pressure okay